Okay, so this is how you're going to use the AppArts source evaluation tool to analyze your sources and determine uh, the bias and whether or not they're going to be useful to you in um, moving forward in your research and your argument. So first you're going to look in the research notes section of your OneNote um, and you're going to look for something I've actually, I think it'll just say AppArt Source Evaluation Tool Master Copy. I added that tag on um, in here. First thing you're going to want to do is, is copy. You always want to keep a blank master copy and then you're going to want to copy it and then just paste it right below there and for each one that you do you're going to want to title it source one source two so on and so forth so um so here we go um i've got source one and, and you're getting your first three by the way these are these should be the same sources that you cited for research unit survey two which asked you to find three sources relating to the topic that you're you're researching um, so I'm actually borrowing one from uh, the first survey I, I received back and the article is about how video game playing um, is is beneficial so or can be beneficial sorry they say it may be beneficial they do not say it conclusively is um, so first things first uh, I'm gonna part I'm gonna paste my hy hyperlink there um, so that way I've got easy access and before we move forward, I want to show you another tip, another way to get um, your sources into your OneNote so that you have everything kind of compiled in one place and you don't have a million tabs open online. So fortunately, um, with this article, there's a print tab. So I can, I can click print and uh, this may be a little different on your school computer. Uh, I'm on a Mac right now. So, but you, you can still do the, the same thing. So, um, we're going to print, it's bringing up the print menu and I'm going to save it as a PDF. Um, on, on a Microsoft computer that appears differently in the print, uh, options, but you should have something that says, you know, print to PDF or save to PDF. And I've got a research unit folder set up. Um, I'm going to use this as source one. I'm just going to add that so that when I look in those folders, I can find my sources easily. And then I'm going to add a page here for source one. I'm going to go up to insert menu which is already open there insert file and it opens right to my my research unit there open the file insert as printout then i've got the whole article there exactly as it appears on the american psychological association's website um looks like i've got a little link to the file there and now i can add my own little nodes and there. So that's great. I'm going to get back to my app arts. Um, so let's see. First of all, I'm going to look through the article. It doesn't give me the author up here. Uh, I'm going to scroll down there. There it is. The author is Lisa Bowen. So Lisa Bowen, what do I know about them? Not very much. So um, I'm going to actually go back to the original, the site. Her name isn't linked um, and doesn't look like there's um, a link to her anywhere, like a bio. So, so I'm going to search the site.
gives me other uh, other articles she's written um if i click on her name there yeah i was hoping to get some type of of bio there uh so now i'm gonna put lisa bowen american psychological association and okay so there we go now i'm getting some information on her and what is this from um apa american psychological association okay that's a reputable okay now i'm getting some information about her let's see if i can um Clearly gonna gonna read that and then I can just copy and paste that. Like this is just for my information. This is to help me. This is to have everything in one place. So I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm not gonna worry about quoting it or or anything. Um, so why should we believe this source is credible? Um, well, let's see. Journalistic integrity. She, um, she's a she's a former journalist. Um, so let's see. Has spent most of her career. I don't know how long her career is. So she's devoted much of her career to the nonprofit sector. Nonprofits tend to be, um, and I'm assuming this is the same. Um, no, maybe this is not the same person, but um, she comes up a lot in 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 those searches. So journalistic integrity. Um, So she's got a pretty uh, solid reputation. Um, she's also accountable. If the if the APA publishes some some bad info, like she's the one. She's the director of public affairs. So um, okay, is this considered a primary or secondary source? Uh, we'll, we'll we'll cut to the chase there. It's, oh, I can just reference the source right here. Um, it's a secondary source. It kind of boils down some, some other research. So it is not the, the, the research itself. The source was created in February 2014. How might this affect the meaning of the source? Well... Um, seven years can mean some other research may have been done. Um, video game technology may, like, has evolved some, um, but perhaps not enough to, to really affect the, uh, the credibility of the research. Um, so let's see beyond the uh, and that e is bothering me there. So uh, beyond the information above, what do you already know that would help you further understand the source? Um, there are a lot of people who think that video games can um, can be dan can be dangerous, can make kids violent and are a waste of time there is a stigma for video game users that means that there's like a negative stereotype uh, and i don't know why i said users makes it sound like drugs uh players that they are um loners who they're just lazy loners. So 
I'm kind of aware of that stereotype. And I, I wouldn't really know that without reading the article and saying like, oh, yes, I like people think this. Yes. Um, for whom was the source created? I want to fix that. For whom was the source created? Um, general audience, uh, general readers. It's um, when you look at the wording, it's pretty easy to follow. It breaks it down into, um, you know, what they call layman's terms, um, which means that, like, generally most people should be able to, to follow it. Um, why was this source produced? Um, to refute common stereo types and stigma around games and gamers to share um, up to date research with the general public because we know it's it's broken down for for general audience um, I mean yeah I'm to the best of my like that's my guess it's my best guess uh, let's see, what's the main idea? Uh, what's the central message? Um, playing video games may be beneficial to people and help develop cognitive. This is kind of a run on sentence here. Um, develop and strengthen. Cog cognitive skills. Uh, I'm going to right click on that. There we go. Spell it right for me. Thank you. F playing video games may be helpful to in develop strength and cognitive skills um, as well as having social emotional benefits. And that kind of boils down because they talk about emotional resilience, they talk about anxiety relief, so on and so forth. Why is this source important? It shows that common negative stereotypes may be wrong. It demonstrates the potential of video potential and benefits of video games. Um, what does the source prove or what does the source, what is it? Um, games help kids develop emotional resilience. Let's see. Um, yeah, you know, so I can't, I can't really copy and paste from there, but um, let's see. Problem solving skills. Uh, there was something in there about spatial. I'm, I'm kind of doing less than I normally would because my time's going to run out on the recording. Um, so let's see spatial so and they do acknowledge by the way in the article that like yes there are other studies that show that like playing violent video games may may not always be the best for um for everybody um so let's see spatial navigation and whoops and other important skills. Um, how does the source prove your it cites research conducted in 2013 as well as the author of the study who um, let's see holds a PhD and is a professor in the Netherlands. I could be more specific about that, but I'm not right now. So there we go. So now I've I've broken this down and whereas before I may have felt like oh